Greetings and welcome to Monster Legends for another special feeding episode. This time I'm going to be feeding a lady that I acquired at a recent Top Monsters breeding event. As a matter of fact, I got her twice. So who will survive? Her or her twin sister? Who will win the lottery of the most open ruin slots? Time will tell. But for now, let's look at Madame Fusion. Madame Fusion, of course, is a legendary. Madame Fusion is magical. She's a lady. She is a superhero. She's very into family. And of course, she was a quest monster. This one has two open ruin slots. Will the other have three? Time will tell. So for now, no, 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 she's not going in the vault. No, no, she's not going in the vault. She's going up here to the new island. She's going to hang out with these individuals because, because why not? Okay, so where is she? She's, she's hiding in there somewhere. All right, this is Anap. Okay, we're just going to find a good name for her. Anyway, as I understand, Madame Fusion is kind of a support individual with extra turns, so we're going to see how that works out. All right, anyway, this is Madame Fusion. She's, as I said, she's a legendary. She's magic. She has an evolving trait. She begins hardened, and at rank one, which, of course, means a lot to me now... She stays hardened and gains a self-cast for evasion. Ooh, that's very good. If she makes it to rank 3, I didn't get that lucky in the breeding, by the way, she'll also get a status cast for positive effects protection. I'm guessing that's for the entire group. All right, that's useful. And yeah, that rank 1, that looks very good to me. All right, let's look at her stats. Her strength isn't too good, but I uh, don't believe that's her role anyway. Uh, life is okay. Uh, speed is pretty good. And I'm guessing that's closer to her forte there, right? All right, so let's check out her uh, initial skills. All right, here we have a Love Vault. Deals low physical damage to one enemy and Trustful Companion. Deals moderate magic damage to one enemy and her special skill, Stellar Nucleosynthesis. I think I said that right. Deals massive special damage to all enemies. Applies three random torture effects to all enemies. Ooh, that hurts. We'll go back to the love vault. No, we won't. Meet Malar's daughter. To her father's discontent, Madame Fusion was never interested in joining a team of villains. Instead, she found her own partner, Voltec. Her skills work very well with his, and the best part was that Miller hated him. They have a special chemistry, both inside and outside the battlefield. Okay, so Romeo and Juliet. All right, well, you know what? She's way too young to be uh, dating, so we're going to have to feed her up. So here come the tomatoes. All right, and there she is. Okay, she's all grown up now. She can go out. It only took uh, three levels. All right, but we do want to see the skills, and uh, they begin at level 7, so let's go. Inertia Confinement Fusion. Okay, that's an interesting first name. Deals moderate magic damage to one enemy, removes all negative status effects from all allies. Oh, that's already a useful one right there. Very supporting. Probably not keeping it, by the way. All right, so let's continue to level 10. Bubble Fusion. Deals moderate magic damage to one enemy, applies cooldown protection to all allies. Yeah, very supporting so far. Very supporting. All right, so let's continue to level 15. Thermonuclear fusion. I noticed that fusion is all over the place here. Every one of her skills that we've seen so far has the word fusion in it. Deals moderate magic damage to one enemy, applies immunity to blind to all allies. All right, well, I'm just going to throw that there because there's no chance I'm keeping that one. All right, so let's continue to level 20 for another skill. Ingenica taught me. Disables trait on one enemy, gives extra turn to itself. Ooh, that could be useful. A little heavy on the stamina. I'm going to throw that back over there. See, I see that cooldown protection might be useful for specific fights to put in there since it doesn't cost anything. 
but I generally wouldn't keep it because it's very specific and we only have four skills to work with, right? All right, so let's continue to level 25. Excuse me. Removes positive status effects from one enemy, gives one extra turn to itself. You know, I would be more likely to keep that. It's just that I think that one would be more useful because, for instance, like if you have someone who has evasion or if you have somebody who has a megaton status, then you could remove it and then act afterwards. I think that one would be more useful, and I'm not going to keep both of them. So uh, I, like that. I like that second one much better. All right, so let's continue to level 30. Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. I know it's good, but, you know, I, I like the other one better. And I can't see taking both of them. Focus Fusion gives 50% stamina to all allies, applies stamina regeneration to all allies. That's just really good right there, especially since it's a zero stamina. If the team has their stamina taken away, she can give 50% back and then give stamina regeneration. So I think for the moment, I'll probably put that in there. That's very good support. All right, so let's continue to level 40. Your turn. Removes all negative status effects from one ally. Gives extra turn to one ally. Oh, that's different. Okay, so that might be useful. I don't know. I'm going to have to see about that. Because at the moment, we only have like one damaging thing and it's an early skill. All right, I should have two more because we did get a duplicate in there. So let's just see what we get. All right, level 45. No, we've seen that one. No, 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 no. Come on, come on. New stuff, new stuff. Oh, looks like I got a reward for feeding her. Ben to Vault deals heavy magic damage to one enemy, applies thunder and nature weakness to one enemy, gives extra turn to itself. Okay, so that's very good. I see what they're doing there. Basically, you're bending it to vault because you're giving it thunder weakness. You're also giving it nature weakness, too. So, I'm, I don't know, does she have a nature friend? Maybe she does. Anyway, that's actually, that's pretty good right there, especially with the extra turn. All right, so we should have one more. I guess? Let's see. Nah, you're gonna hide it on me, aren't you? Alright, so we got one more chance here before we have to go digging. We're going digging. Alright, I think there might be another one. Let's just see. And Jenica taught me... Oh, it's ringing right on top. Oh, here we go. Pyroelectric Fusion. Deals moderate magic damage to one enemy, applies a random torture skill to all enemies. Alright, so I like that one. Who's coming out? Not that one. That's good. Here's the thing. Do I want to do this one? Or do I want to do this one? See, this one, she's got a good speed. This one allows to, her to use her speed to let somebody else go right after her. Mind you, this is not a character you want to use if uh, anticipation is sitting on the other side of the battlefield. See that this one is more support, the other one is more um, orientated towards offense because you're letting somebody else go. I can't see parting with this one. I don't want to lose this one. This is her one good offensive one and it gives her an extra turn. I'm going to, for now, I'm going to take this one out. As I said previously, you could always change things on the fly if you're going to do a battle or something. If you're going to do something in the, uh, like a battle, battlefields or something like that, even though I think we only have one left. And you see that, you know, you might want to give protection against cooldowns or you want to do something else. You can always switch. But I think for day-to-day -day fighting, I think this is a better idea, right? Going with this one, right? All right, so that's going to be anything. I don't think there was anything else that I missed. That was an early one there, and I don't think, I don't think, no, 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 no tier fours. All right, it's been a while after all. Okay, so let's see what her final skills are. Yeah, her strength really isn't too terrific, but, I mean, she's only got, like, one damaging skill. No, she got two damaging skills. It's kind of not what she does, though. Uh, her life is very good. It's life very good, very chunky, not fragile at all, no glass cannons here. Her speed is good. So she's going to be able, you could get her really fast if you wanted to. I just don't know why you'd want to do that. That's all. I'm thinking that's just, 
not something you'd want her to do. Considering the fact that when I get her to rank one, and I am going to get her to rank one, either her or her sister, she's going to be evading from the beginning because of her, you know, evolving trait here. She's not going to really need it as much. I mean, I could have her go first and have somebody else go with that other skill. It's just I don't really see a reason to do that at that point. I mean, she's going to be faster than the attacker, and then the attacker after would probably end up getting two turns. She is a support individual. I don't think you'd put denial speed on her because there's nothing she can really do with that. Okay, so let's just take a look at the skills that I selected since we've already looked. And oh, oh, yeah, they have. You click through this and you get this. I wish they would do something to fix it. Kind of annoying. All right, let's begin with this. Your turn. Removes all negative status effects from one ally, gives extra turn to one ally. All right, so this can be used to save somebody who's in a lot of trouble, you know, if they're possessed or they're dying because of uh, torture effects or something like that, or if they're stunned, you could just take this off, and then let them go immediately. You can also use this at the beginning of a fight. Like I said, you could give your team's attacker an extra attack. She has a couple of extra turn things, so she could always end her turn with this. So that's a pretty useful skill right there. All right, then we have Bend to Vault. This is her highest damage one right now. Deals heavy magic damage to one enemy, applies thunder and nature weakness to one enemy, gives one extra turn to itself. That means that anybody with this on will take double damage from thunder and nature, right? Now, if they're already weak to thunder and nature, it's not going to make any big difference. But if they are not automatically weak to them, it's certainly useful. So obviously, it's been to vault. It's supposed to be a reference to Vaultic. I'm not really sure where the nature comes in. I think magic probably would have been a better idea because, I mean, that's what she is. She's magical. So she could, you know, do damage herself. They are a team after all, right? And then we have this one. Focus Fusion. Gives 50% stamina to all allies. Applies stamina regeneration to all allies. All right, now this could be used in the beginning of a fight. It could be used later in a fight as well. You use it in the beginning of a fight if the denial on the other side of the battlefield has taken your team's stamina away. Now, she's probably evading unless somebody did something about that or they had Pierce on or something like that. But even if she did get her stamina taken away from her, it doesn't matter because it's a zero stamina skill. So she's going to restore half of the stamina to her own team and then give them stamina regeneration. So when their turn comes up, they're going to immediately get a little bit more stamina back. So this is very good protection for a situation like that. I kind of like it. It can also be used later in a fight as well. If your team is running out of stamina, if they've used their skills, you can restore stamina and give them stamina regeneration. Pretty darn useful. And then we have this last one, Pyroelectric Fusion. Deals moderate magic damage to one enemy, applies random torture skill to all enemies. So she's going to hit one individual, very useful in a situation when somebody is, say, dodging group attacks. She's just going to hit one of them, and then she's going to give torture effects to everybody else. Now, the torture effect won't end up on that individual because I'm guessing that second part is kind of a group thing. Random torture effects can be very, very useful, indeed. Now, I would say the one thing that I do have a problem with my selection of skills is that there are three and four round cooldowns. I don't really think there's much I can do about that. See, the thing about it is that because she does extra turning, I'm guessing that's by design, right? See, this one here gives an extra turn, and this one here gives an extra turn. I think those are the only ones that I selected. Right, so you could just start with this one and then do one of the other ones, or you could do this at the beginning of a fight, right, and then give an extra turn to one of your own guys. You know, maybe somebody who's thunder or nature, so they immediately can get, like, two attacks, you know, the attack she gives them, and then their own attack. Uh, you could also finish off with one of these guys if you wanted to. Anyway, she's got some interesting support stuff. Very useful indeed. She's not a damage dealer. She's not denial. But she is indeed very good. And like I said, I have two of them, which means I am going to be ranking her up. I'm hoping, however, that uh, her sister has three open ruin slots, so I don't have to spend any gems. That would be quite unfortunate for the one we're looking at. You see, the loser, well, the user is going to be used to boost the other one, whoever that is. Anyway, this is Madam Fusion. She's very good. I got very lucky, of course, 
uh, and to get two of her so I can immediately get her to rank one. Anyway, thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games because games are fun. See you.